jumping to page 40. And uh, we've ended up here at, um, uh, Johnny has, um, has uh, brought Spike into school with him. He's in grade seven and he goes to Henry Hudson Elementary. And, uh, and there's uh, <coughs> something that's uh, occurred. Uh, there's, on the, on the, on the key is a, a really intricate design. And there are three rings that are looped together in that design, and Johnny realizes that he's seen that he's seen that uh, that design before, and then when he's in the classroom, he notices that his teacher, uh, Mr. Erasmus, uh, is wearing a ring with the same insignia on it, mm. and this leads us to. Well, I'll read on. Lunch hour finally arrived, and before Erasmus could exit the classroom. Johnny mustered the nerve to speak again. Uh, sir, ventured Johnny, what's up, lad? Your ring, sir. You were going to tell me all about it. Oh, that's right, I was, wasn't I, Johnny? Erasmus patted the boy on the head. Johnny liked his teacher, but felt that Erasmus often lost sight of just how mature a grade seven can be. I'm in a bit of a hurry, you lad. Hungry for lunch, he said, rubbing his stomach. Let's say I tell you all about it in the morning. Come early tomorrow, Johnny, and I'll be glad to give you a full history of my involvement with the Odd Fellows. The Odd Fellows? Johnny questioned. Yes, Johnny. Erasmus brought the ring closer into view. The design was unmistakable. Johnny found himself mesmerized and haunted by the familiar image. Friendship, love, and truth. These are the three principles that guide all odd fellows, grinned Erasmus. I would like to think that I've done my share in passing on these qualities to my students over the years, he reflected. Now you go get yourself some lunch, Johnny. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. Though it hardly seemed possible, the weather had actually become worse. It had been raining horribly all day. <laughs> Johnny joined his friends for lunch as they resigned themselves to the gloomy confines of the cafeteria. Spike had completely disappeared, and if Frank and Gino were more observant, they would have noticed the signs of distress on Johnny's freckled face. Social studies in English capped off a very tedious and apprehensive afternoon. When the bell rang, the class surged to the door with Johnny in the lead. He raced down the hall, dodging students left and right. He rushed to his locker and grabbed his books, coat, and slicker. Dag blame it, muttered Johnny, surprising himself with his lost pal's vocabulary. And by the way, Spike is a rather cantankerous little fellow, mm -hmm. and his language gets a little bit out of hand. Oh. Where the heck is Spike? I scanned that room inside out. When Johnny got to his bike, he quickly unlocked the magnum and reached into the pannier bag for his rag. Youch! he screamed, pulling a throbbing index finger to his mouth. Out of the lip of the bag emerged a shell-shocked spider, his hair looking like a tuft of wild crabgrass. You never give me no warning, child. I was sound asleep. Where's my toque? He went back into the pannier bag, his voice now muffled and echoing. Where's my toque? I don't know, Spike, and will you stop being so cranky? If you bite me again, your cruising days are over. Johnny's finger was still smarting. It just ain't my day, Johnny. Well, I guess I am glad to see you. I was worried what with Erasmus smacking you the way he did. I'd like to bite that guy's nose off, retorted Spike. At one point in the story, the teacher sees the spider on Johnny's shoulder and he whacks him off because the spider earlier had scared one of the girls in the classroom. And Spike went flying, and we didn't know what happened to him. And Johnny says, uh, did you see his ring? You betcha, Johnny boy, Spike exclaimed. He's an odd fellow. Can't agree with you more, matey. Always laughing at himself and telling those stupid stories. No, Spike. He belongs to an organization called the Odd Fellows. That's what the ring means. 
How in tarnation would someone come up with a name like that? I don't know, Spike, but you better get into writing position, buddy. We've got business to do. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs>